Okay, so the the new spare spring and ball have arrived. Um, so this is the original one. The ball actually looks fine. I can't see any corrosion on it, so I'm sure that's actually reusable. But um, so I've got a new one anyway. So I'll put that one in. I might well use this one as the uh, to form the the seat. Anyway, I mean, looking at those two springs though, I mean they're quite different. So there's a good good five mil. That's probably more than that actually. And it's got fewer turns, or at least has it. It's certainly stiffer than the um, the one that was fitted. So I mean, it's quite a light spring, but um. Yeah, it's definitely firmer, just to the touch. So let's not get these mixed up. Those are the originals, and these are the new ones. Right. Yeah. So looking at this seat with the magnifying glass, or some sort of microscope thing, um, it uh, definitely looks sort of dodgy. It's certainly not a smooth surface. So. I'm going to try and um, improve it by just sort of rubbing it with a, you know, I think, I think it perhaps a wooden dowel might help just to clean off the surface and see if I can buff it up a bit. So I'll give that a try and uh, see what it looks like again under the microscope. Right, so I've found a pair of chopsticks. So I've cut one of these short and uh, rounded off the end to roughly a quarter inch radius and I'm going to try this and see what it does down here it's only dirty just pulling out some crud. Oh, gear them in. Let's put it into high speed. That's better. So that's going shiny now. So that's probably enough. I don't want to overdo it and damage the. Uh, seat so I'll have a proper look at it and see what it's done. Okay this is going fairly well with this um, bamboo chopstick. I'm going to just put a bit of metal polish on it just to try and get a better finish on the aluminium seat. So just a tiny amount just to um, wet the end of the Bamboo. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it's only gone black. What do you expect, I guess? It's obviously taking some metal off. Let's see what damage I've done. Well, I don't have a brass drift, unfortunately, so I'm going to use a bit of steel. So that's a nice fit in there. I've made sure the seat is as clean as I can possibly get it. I'm going to use this old ball. Having checked it, it looks absolutely fine. So if I drop that in, the uh, cover is on this nice, firm, but resilient surface, so it shouldn't damage the gasket face. And yet it's well supported, so I should get a nice... Uh, transmission of the hammer blow. Let's just, just try and uh, reseat this ball. See what happens. Right. We'll go and check under the microscope and see what that's done. Right, so that definitely looked better. It seemed to have closed up some of the cracks that you could see in the 
seat surface. Borrowing just one more bash might just make it slightly better without causing any issues. So let's give that a go. Felt good, felt nice and firm. Definitely transmitting the load onto the uh, the ball and the seat. Okay. Having thought about this overnight, um, I'm not very happy with the way that the seat is looking at the moment. So I think I'm going to try grinding it. Use some good old grinding paste and grind it in like a valve seat. See if I can just get a better finish on the valve and hopefully a better seal. Right, so a bit of blue tack on the end of a chopstick. This is the original ball, so it's um, expendable. So let's see whether that will fit down there, which it does. Just so I wonder whether it'll stay on sufficiently well. Let's give it a try. Of um, granny paste. Seems to be working. Uh, maybe not. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit of a dodgy whoops, connection to the uh, ball. Right, so that didn't work. Then this plan is to uh, try using this near dim um, magnet. But I think that needs a flat surface on the ball, so. I'm going to try and fire a flat on it. Should be interesting. In fact, that's not going to work. I've got to try a, uh, to grind a flat on it. Right, so that is um, put a flat on there, definitely. So all this magnet. Pick it up. Of course it will. Right, so this is what I've ended up with. It seems to work. The, um, the ball bearing that I've cut a flat on just slips onto this magnet. The magnet itself is actually an electrical contact. It's intended for temporary connections to batteries. So there's a, a wire connected to it and there's a near to me magnet. magnet. So, so you can just attach a wire to it and connect it onto the end of a battery as a quick and easy way of doing it. Um, but that's quite handy because the, the little wire on the end, this is the same type of magnet. The wire is, I just drilled a hole in the end of the bamboo and uh, glued the uh, glued this on with super glue. So, so that seems to work quite well. There's enough friction between the, uh, the magnet and the ball to keep it rotating. So, two thirds of a cup of coffee later, still seems to be working. So we've got plenty of um, grinding paste on it. The shine has gone off the uh, the end. In fact, you can see shiny where the hole is, shiny down here, but then there's a ring of dull area where the ball has been grinding against the seat. So that's good.
so so yeah i think i'm getting bored now the, the seat's a lot better than it was and uh those little pits that you can still see it's going to take me forever to get those out um so i'm reaching a point of diminishing returns i think so i'm going to leave it as it is and uh just clean it up really well get all the uh, the grit out grinding paste maybe one last tap with a hammer just to sink the uh the actual ball that I'm using into the seat and uh, hope for the best. So this is the actual ball I'm going to use. I haven't cut enough. So just drop that in and just give it a tap just to finally hopefully align the reground seat with um, this ball. I don't think it'll make any difference really, but um, what the hell? I'll do. I was somewhat to my surprise that. Um, tapping the ball on the seat has actually improved it quite significantly so uh, I'm quite pleased with that. I don't think I'm going to do any more. I think it's uh, a lot better than it would have been if I hadn't done the uh, try this grinding idea. Um, I've uh, flushed it through with some WD-40 um, and blown it through with air to make sure the, uh, the oil way from uh, the end feed to the Bear, uh, the uh, valve is clear of any um, metal polish or any other debris. And I put a bit of oil down there just to um, make sure that it doesn't rust onto the seat or anything daft. Just to wet it, really. Protect it before I have a chance to reassemble the engine. Okay, this is the plug, I think. Yes, it is. I don't think there's any need to replace that cup washer. It looks looks okay. What I will do is put some Loctite on the thread. It'll be a better steel than the, the copper, I think. Okay, that's nice and firmly done up. You can see you probably can't, but I can see the uh, the ball just through there, which does indeed move. So yeah, fingers crossed. I think I've done all I can really to uh, try and make sure that that leaks less than it did before. But uh, time will tell, I guess. Okay, thanks for watching.